Nope. Dang it. What was that? Ooh, 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 ooh. I'm about to die. I'm about to die. Oh, oh, shit. I think I just spawned a uh, boss. Bro, I'm pretty sure a boss just spawned on me. What the fuck? Oh, that was scary. Oh, here we go. Look at that. Two. Two. Nice. Let's go. What is this? Hey, yo, let's go. Oh, whoa. What? Holy. Okay. Well, I survived, but that was definitely a trap chest. I swear it just said chest. Where is this oh, guy? Oh shit. Oh, what are you at? Where are you? I found, I found some lighthouse. I traveled a lot through the nether and I came out and there's a lighthouse here. Just checking what? it out. <laughs> yeah. Yo, wait. I mean... Uh, this is a map for uh, Shiraz arrived? Palace. I haven't been to that yet. I oh, have been to that in a previous pack and it's a pretty nice place. <laughs> and dangerous. Is it like that massive... Is it like the massive... Uh, sand temple thing. Yeah, yeah, like, like a, a huge, like a palace kind of thing. Yeah, dude, holy crap! Yes, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, that's a lot of redstone sick. here. Wait, does this also, actually we'll work? Oh, oh, that's sick. The lighthouse works. All right, guys, welcome back to the second weekly episode here on what we're going to be calling the future SMP server, um, running the better MC mod pack. And I think you may have just seen the highlights of the past week. If not, then I will be putting them here right now. <laughs> All right. Um, but yeah, now you should have definitely seen them. Um, but pretty much you should have seen that we did a bunch of exploring. We found some cool stuff. Um, we did a lot of nether exploring. Um, but yeah, and uh, we're back at home. We're back at home. Um, however, my stuff is missing. The enchantment table is gone. Um, in here, like my doors here, uh, but everything else is, is gone. Like what, what happened? I, I don't know. Um, Hmm. What happened? I have moved or at least I'm in the process of moving. Um, but I started to build this, uh, this base. Um, it right now is just a square or rectangle rectangle. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I traveled through the nether to get here. Uh, we are uh, like 5,000 something blocks away from where we were. Um, yeah, so I traveled through the nether to get here and uh, I, I actually like this spot. It is up on the hill. We have a ocean view over here. Look at that. I like it. Maybe we'll do something down there. There's like a ruins over here. Um, maybe we'll do something with that or tear it down and do something else. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but for now, uh, it's pretty much gonna be our new home um and let's go inside let me show you so in here uh we have nothing <laughs> i haven't set anything up all i have done is uh created this basement down here which is going to be our main storage and i've pretty much just moved everything down here that, that's all i have done so far um but i will be working on getting the storage set up and organized um and i i actually want to do something today to kind of help with that as well um if we look at the uh what's it called at the mods that we have we have the storage a simple storage network mod and this is the only mod from what from what i can tell that is and any sort of technical mod that we have in this pack um any other like storage system like i don't think we have anything else that's even close to it uh so yeah let's take advantage <laughs> let's take advantage so this guy what it will allow us to do is connect a bunch of chests together and we'll be able to see it in one central place uh so i think that is going to be either the network no sorry this guy right here the storage inventory 
or the storage request table, which is pretty much an upgraded version that allows us to craft in there as well. Um, but first, to get started with this, we need to make the storage network root. And all it requires is quartz, diamond, and some network cables. And those are just some stone slabs and some iron. Super easy, super simple to do. And I should have everything on us to get started. So let's go ahead and make the network storage root. Oh, I need some cables first and some stone slabs. So let's do that. Um, let's do, let's get a stack for now to start. Um, and then we want to craft that guy right there. So we have the storage network group and this is pretty much the main brain. This is what everything connects to. Uh, so what I'm going to do for now is I'm going to put this guy under here. I think would be a good spot. Um, and then right here will go the, uh, the storage request table. Although I, yeah, 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 I'll do that. So we need a dropper and then we need the storage inventory. And then this guy upgrades to the request table, but we need some crafting tables. I forgot about that. Uh, do we have, we should have a bunch of wood. There we go. So we got four crafting tables. Let's go ahead and make that. And we could just place it there. Cool. Now, right now it's empty. Nothing is connected. Um, and that is because we need the cables to go along with it. Now, the main cables that you'll be using will be the link cables to connect any storage to it. Um, however, I am going to upgrade these guys to the filter link cables. That way we can filter stuff. Um, Maybe not right now, but in the future, we'll fit, filter stuff, get a little bit more organized. Um, but yeah, so let's go ahead and make those. We do need some observers, which we should be able to make. Uh, let's see. We can do four. Uh, what am I missing? More redstone. Oh, we have redstone. Okay. We got 11. I think that's more than enough. Uh, it does make four each. So let's go ahead and do. Let's go 40. That should be enough. And um, I will do. I would add like priority to these guys. But for now. Yeah, you can see if I, if I click on them, you can add priority. There's a filter. Ignore list. Import contents as filter. I don't know how that works. But um, yeah. I will set that up later on for now. I just want to make sure it works. Oh, come on. Oh, wait, I do need to right here. I need to add a regular cable that comes in from the, the network root guy. There you go. Let's uh, let's let's see if that works. That should be enough to get started. Yeah, there we go. So we have some blocks in here already, um, and they're showing up here. So cool. And I can dump them in there as well. Um, I should probably grab some of that back because I will need them right now. Uh, but yeah, look at that. It's pretty fast. I like it. No delay. No nothing. I like it. So a couple other things you can do with this guy is that they have the import and export cables as well. So if I want to automate like a smeltery or uh, yeah, like, like my furnace or whatever, I should be able to do that as well. Um, so that should be pretty cool. They pretty much act like hoppers for in and out of the system. And then there's also the remotes. Uh, so for example, the, the basic storage remote is this guy right here. All, all we need is some slime ball a glowstone dust, another storage network root, and a couple gold. Um, then you can upgrade this remote to the crafting remote. Or I guess you don't even upgrade it. It's just a whole different craft. Okay. However, this guy requires some sea lanterns, which we don't have any yet. So I will just go and opt for the regular storage remote. Um, that will allow me to see what's in here, but not craft. So it won't have this crafting table over here. But I think that's fine. Are we going to make this guy? And this guy. There we go. And I think I got to link it. Uh, so if I shift click on the. Yeah, there we go. And there we go. We can see it. Now, I, I'm pretty sure. 
I'm pretty sure this works anywhere in the world. Um, so if we go up here, uh, let's sleep. All right, so let's go back to our old base just to make sure it works here. It does. And let's also see if it works cross dimensional. If it works cross dimensional, that is going to be super big. Super, super big. It does. Oh, man, that is huge. Okay. I love it. I love it. It works cross dimensional anywhere in the world with no power or anything. Oh, man, that, that's cool. That is really cool. All right. So looking at what else we can do here, um, there's a couple other remotes. I didn't even realize there is this builder network builder remote. And it looks like this guy allows me to build using blocks from my network. So I don't have to have blocks on me to actually build. I want to try that because that would be interesting. Um, I don't know how, like, does it work like a building wand? Maybe I think I needed, let's see, let's double check what I needed here. Oh, I need four more storage networks. Okay. Maybe I won't do that just yet. That's a bit expensive. Um, although we, I'm pretty sure we have the stuff for it. Yeah. You know what? Let's go for it. Let's go for it. So we need four hoppers or droppers. Okay. we got the four stores, uh, guys here, and we just got to convert them to these stores request tables. Um, so let's get crafting tables and gold. We have the gold. Actually, we have the wood as well. So that's what, like 16 of these guys. If I calculate it right. And Hey, there we go. Okay. So we got four of them and now we can make the network builder. Cool. So how did this work? So do I have to connect it? Mo has connected to network. Network not found. Make chunk. Yeah, it's, it's. Oh, wait, do I have to? Let's see. Okay. So I have to attack what I want to so set stone. So I have stone in my network. I should have stone in my network. If I go out here and I, oh, that's cool. Okay. Might not work well with the shield. But look at that. Can I do like a, oh, okay. Ooh, that's a little weird. That like pushed me off a little bit, but that's still pretty cool. If, if there's something I need to like build quickly, I can just use that. I like it. I like it. Cool. Hey man, it's nice to have at least a little bit of technology in this world. <laughs> uh, I'm just so used to modded. So, uh, vanilla is, uh, oh man. Yeah. Uh, I guess maybe I should get into redstone, right? Um, but yeah, the, aside from that, I see this, a couple other of these remotes here, but I'm not sure what they do. Uh, maybe I'll play with them later on. Uh, there's also this network ex exchange interface, but looks like it, I don't think we'll need this. I think this is to connect to other storage systems. For example, if we had like refined storage or um, applied energistics, but looks like we don't have anything like that. Um, but yeah, I think that's pretty much it for, for this mod, but it is going to be, I think in my opinion, the most helpful mod that we'll ever have on this server. Um, but anyways, that is going to be it for today, guys. Hopefully you guys like the uh, overview of what we've done throughout the week. Um, hopefully you guys like my build here. Any suggestions, any recommendations, if you guys uh, think I should add something change something let me know i do i am open to uh, recommendations like that um and yeah hopefully you guys like the uh little demonstration of the simple storage networks as well because i think that will be helpful for especially for anyone that's uh coming from vanilla and playing this mod pack that is something that will definitely be helpful for you to uh, manage your storage a little bit better um but yeah anyways guys that is gonna be it hope you guys enjoyed i will see you next time